Kind of what's your big takeaway from today, Joyce? Well, there are a few of them, Evan. I think one of the takeaways is the um, environment, the environment portfolio. So here he puts Stephen Guilbeault, who used to be an environment activist. Um, and when he was first elected, you remember, we all thought he was going to, he was a shoe in for the for the environment portfolio but the prime minister thought it was more prudent to put somebody perhaps with less um, already you know his ideas on the environment are well known uh, we knew Gilbo before he got that the he, he even ran for office so putting him in there sends a message to uh, to Canadians and to indeed the rest of the world that Canada means business uh, with this uh, with the environment and and then putting Wilkinson who was the former environment minister Jonathan Wilkinson into um, natural resources also uh, a, a climate not not necessarily an activist but somebody who's you know an environmentalist in, in that portfolio as well shows that they are going to work in tandem which is the big Canadian challenge because what do you do with Canada's natural resources which are like oil and gas and turn them into you know clean energy these two men are the ones that uh, Justin Trudeau has introduced, has decided to put in cabinet to fight mm -hmm. that. It will be interesting to see, um, you know, how far they can do go because, as you know, so far Canada hasn't met any of its targets. Yeah, so that's the environment, uh, natural resources. Melanie Jolie, big surprise. She becomes the foreign affairs. And then Anita Nand on defense, maybe two of the other headlines. Uh, what do you make of those, Joyce? Absolutely. So, you know, two women in, in, in very high profile jobs. I'm 100 percent for that, obviously, being being a woman. Um, I think it's interesting. Melanie Jolie, the fifth uh, foreign affairs minister uh, of the Trudeau government of the three governments in six years. Uh, what is the matter with that portfolio that they have to change ministers all the time? Uh, she is the, the and, and, and Christian Freeland didn't answer your question about what happens to Mark Garneau? Why did you show him the door? Um, you know, we hear that Mr. Garneau is not very happy about this. Um, and, and no questions were answered. Why is he no longer in cabinet? And, you know, other senior ministers who we thought perhaps were going to uh, be outside of cabinet are still in cabinet. Why him and not somebody else? Uh, that question remains unanswered. Anita Anand in, uh, in defense. Uh, she herself has said, look, she doesn't have a magic wand. These are not things that she can do overnight. Um, and, and in answering questions earlier at the press conference, but she said, look, I'm a hard worker. I'm dogged. Um, she won't let go. She showed what she was made of uh, with the vaccine procurement. Uh, she did that brilliantly when at the beginning of the year uh, it was met with a lot of skepticism, especially from the uh, conservatives who said, oh, it's going to take Canada until 2030 to get all those vaccines. Well, they were wrong. So, you know, somebody who does a really good job usually gets a promotion. I'm not sure that taking her from from that uh, from procurement to uh, to defense is necessarily a promotion, but she got the really tough job, um, and she knows that she it, it isn't going to happen overnight, um, and she's already said that today, even before going uh, to see the department. Yeah, it's a tough job, but it's clearly a sign of confidence because that file is an absolute mess. And Anita Nan's job is to uh, clean it up and to handle it. Uh, you know, you can handle a, a vaccine uh, emergency and, and a pandemic crisis. Maybe you can handle the military, I guess, is the thinking. We'll find out. Uh, Joyce Napier, CTV News Ottawa Bureau Chief, um, who I think rented the heater for the rest of her life, which she had throughout the day at uh, <laughs> Rideau Hall. Great work today, Joyce. Uh, great to have you on the program.